right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to it, man. Staycation set up. Morning mess, JD, Sienna, your guy Joey. Boy, we do have Kim uh, from Chandler on the line. She suspects her man Ryan is cheating with his ex after he asked to push back their wedding date. Kim, uh, you're engaged. Yeah. Ryan and I have been engaged for two years and together for four years total. Mm -hmm. But lately, I've, I've noticed that Ryan's been a bit distant. And it's not just with the wedding stuff, but it's just like our personal life as well. And then randomly the other day, we were having dinner and he dropped a bomb on me telling me he wants to push our wedding date back. Okay. So the reason that he gave me was that we'll have more time to figure out what we want. Oh, Isn't that the, a good sign? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, this could go two different ways. What you want as in a relationship or for just the wedding itself? Yeah, I, I have no idea. Like, I was kind of saying, well, we should know we want to marry each other, but I think he's getting cold feet. Okay, so he's teetering more on the line of not knowing what he wants out of the relationship then. Yeah, I think so. And, and this is a kicker, really. The other night, we were at Ryan's parents' house for some wedding stuff. And his mom thought it was a good idea to tell Ryan she saw on Facebook that his ex moved back here after living out of state for a while. And what really surprised me was that Ryan said he already knew because she's been back for a month already. He said that out loud? Yeah. Hmm. So does he stay in contact with her? Well, so I, I tried to play it cool, but then I did a little bit of social media stalking, and I noticed that he had re-followed her because a while ago he wasn't following her before, and he's liked every picture of hers from a month ago. Come on, man. Mm, I know. And, like, not subtle at all. I even saw him commenting like, some emojis under her page. Dang. So now I'm kind of lining up this timeline in my head of ever since she came back to town, and... I think they're back in contact because all of a sudden he wants to postpone our wedding. But I, I need to find out if he's seeing his ex again so I actually don't go through with this if he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a lot on the line on this one. This yeah, is not yeah. just like, oh, you break up with him. This is a whole damn wedding. Yeah. Huh. Because I was thinking if you were under the gun with like wedding plans, like you guys just had too much on your plate. That's why you want to postpone it. But. Yeah, I feel like, Kim, you're thinking that he might be having second thoughts because he might still have feelings with his ex. Yeah, so to casually bring her up as well. Yeah. Well, what's his ex's name? Ava. Ava, yeah. okay. Well, Sienna's going to get to work here. She's going to call your man up off from a free romantic hotel stay and see who he wants to put on that reservation. So we're hoping he doesn't say Ava because if he does, then I guess you have a wedding to call off or would you be willing to go to counseling and try to work this out? Like, I don't think I could go through with it. Here we go. Hello? Hello, may I speak to Ryan? This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. My name is Selena. I'm calling with the Aurora Hotel. I have some awesome news for you. You're the winner of our free romantic giveaway I'm, for two. I'm not interested. Are you sure? We want to put you in a penthouse suite with the honeymoon package as well, so I don't want you to miss out on this offer. No, it's okay. Thank you. You get to bring a special guest as well, so you don't have to have this weekend alone. So it's a nice little quiet getaway for you, too, if that also helps. All we ask in return is for an honest Google or Yelp review of your stay, and that's it. Okay, I'll do it. Awesome. You're really helping us out, so I just want to congratulate you, Ryan. So excited to set this up for you. So something fun we do here at the Aurora Hotel is we actually address a sweet or saucy note to the guest you will be bringing. So I can give you a second to think about that, and whenever you're ready, I'll be here to write it down for you. <laughs> um, okay, I feel embarrassed doing a saucy note. Um. <laughs> no need to feel embarrassed. They're fun, and as long as the person you're bringing likes it, that's all that matters. Um, okay, then we'll do we'll do a saucy one. Okay, perfect. Do you have anything in mind? Uh, yeah. Um, I uh, just put hope you're ready for my secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that is a little quirky, but again, as long yeah. as your guest loves it, who am I to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, let me go ahead and write this down for you. All right, and now that I have that written down, the most important question here is who would you like to bring on this free romantic stay? Um, Ava. This wedding is not happening. Hello? Hey, Ryan, do you recognize your fiancé's voice there? Uh, I hope you're ready for my secret sauce. What the f*** is that even supposed to mean? That's absolutely disgusting! Ryan, we do legally gotta let you know you're live on the radio. Our show's called The Morning Mess, and uh, your fiancé, Kim, suspected you were still talking to your ex. Okay, um... 
you weren't supposed to hear that. So, uh, what, what is, yeah, what clearly. Is, but, yeah. What is all this? What's going on? Oh, no. Is that why you put back our wedding day? Are you still in love with your ex? Is she really the reason we have to put our lives on hold? Um, look, I, I don't even know how to have this conversation with you right now. This really is awkward. And, and I don't think right now is the time or the place for it. I don't care. You've had literally years to tell me this. And be honest with me, has this been happening the whole time? Yes. Mm. Um, I didn't expect it all to play out like this. I thought I had this whole thing under control, and it wasn't supposed to blow up in our under faces. Under control? You shouldn't even be cheating at all. You don't realize how f***ing embarrassing this is. Look, if, if you're so embarrassed, then why the hell did you just put me on the radio and making this sh more public? Why didn't you just talk to me yourself? Don't you dare blame me. And now I have to clean up your f***ing mess and be the one to tell our families why we're not getting married after all so i don't deserve this okay calm down like i don't need you running and telling okay. my family shit. are you out of your mind i can't believe i wasted all this time waiting on you and being considerate of how you're feeling of all the planning and now you're just going back to your ex it's not all about her like she might have a little to do with it but i've been having second thoughts this entire time mm. that's it i'm calling off for this engagement there's no wedding this is done well, he hung up. I, I, I didn't even know what to say, Kim. Like, I'm just so glad that you didn't find out after he'd married. I know. That would have been even worse. Ah, oh, this is so tough because you had a whole wedding planned. But, again, you got to think of the silver lining. At least you don't have to go through a divorce and you find out before the fact. Thank God. Yeah, and we do have counseling services on standby if you like to take them. I'm sure our counselor, Tracy, can help you through all of this because it is a lot. Thank you. That would, yeah, that would mean a lot. Uh, yeah. How much do you think you can get for that ring? That's a good question. Yeah, there I don't you know. Go. Have to go ask. Yeah, are you going to give it back? I hope you keep it. No, this was his fault. Yeah, hot that. Who would that? Say hot that. <laughs> <laughs> hot that. say hot that anymore. Hot that. I don't think so. No, hot that and two of that. the context of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Keep us posted. Are you going to take the counseling or are you just, you good? That would be so great. Thank Perfect. you. Tracy okay. hasn't worked in two weeks, so um, we'll, we'll connect you with her, okay? <laughs> Okay, sounds good. All right, love. Hold on right there. I mean, that was a very unique situation, so I you can't know. chalk it up to that. I don't know, man. I'm going to roll to this guy's house. <laughs> to pull up on him? <laughs> yeah. Put a little bar of soap in my sock. Hey, you want to go socks? <laughs> Twirl it around. You put two bar of soaps in the sock. Twirl it around. Taking it back to juvie. Good job! Yo quiero ser listo, mi alta silla va para volar. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Everybody's favorite prank calls. It's Nacho's Revenge with the morning mess. Let's say good morning to Melanie. Good Melly morning, Mel. Melanie. Good <laughs> morning, guys. How's it going? It goes very, very well. We're up early with you. Listen, uh, Revenge on the boyfriend Shane. Something about meeting your dad that went wrong. What happened? Why did he go meet my dad in his boxers? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he, huh? He met your dad in his boxers? Yes, yes. Okay, let me tell you. Okay. Um, honestly, I wish that it was under different circumstances, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. my man met my dad in his boxers. If he had been listening to me, he would have known that last Saturday, my dad was coming over to pick me up because we were doing lunch, right? Mm -hmm. So my boyfriend, he stayed over the night before, and mind you, we've only been dating for like a few months, so he hasn't really met my parents yet. Oh, wait. So my dad, he comes early, like all dads do to everything. Absolutely. When he knocked at the door, Shane, that's my boyfriend, went to answer it in his boxers as if that's a normal thing to do. Like, what, who the f*** is that? <laughs> <laughs> the clothes on. <laughs> yeah, and no matter what circumstance, you, you put some clothes exactly. on. Yeah. Something. Maybe right. I have to put some pants on. How about we go ahead and look through the peephole to see who's actually there? Is <laughs> that fair? Was he smoking some doja at the same time? What was going on? Right? So he swings open the door, and there's my dad. Oh, no. Then my dad looked in complete shock and then told me he apologized and slammed the door in my dad's face. Uh, <laughs> did he realize that it was your dad as soon as he opened the door? Yeah, because my dad was completely shocked. He's like, oh, my God, and he just panicked. Imagine you're meeting Gia's boyfriend for the first time and he nope. opens the door. <laughs> you would hear two sounds. 
So I'm just so embarrassed at this point, and it's just because I wanted the first interaction, of course, to be perfect. Yeah. You know, I'm really liking him. Oh, that sucks. Is he a nice guy besides being an idiot? Is he a nice <laughs> guy that this could be the one for you? I mean, yeah, honestly, except for, you know. The dad situation, yeah. So what did we think of for the prank? I'm assuming pranking your boyfriend this morning. Okay, well, considering that they met my dad in his boxers, but guys, like, there's nothing more sensitive when you talk about, you know, like, the size of things. <laughs> what a way to put it. <laughs> I was thinking that Nacho could be a, uh, how do I want to put this, like a enhancement specialist. Enhancement? What is going on to... here? Is this a real case in your situation? Because if it is, <laughs> you're trying way too hard to stay with this guy. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, if you embarrass me, like, let me just show you why you should never open the door in your boxes. Right. Have not so mentioned that, that my dad gave some info and said that, like, he thinks that Shane is lacking in a department. That, wait, 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 that, that your dad made the call for the enhancement <laughs> specialist? <laughs> yeah. That's so embarrassing. Oh, my God. I mean, that's what guys do. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little petite pickles, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just need... I can't believe I do this for a living. Yeah. I just need your boyfriend's phone number, and then we'll prank him for you. And, and Is Dad listening, by the way? Did you tell your dad you're going to pull this prank this morning? Of course I did. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is for you and Pops. All right. I love everything about this. Here we go. Hello? Good morning, this is Nasha Chavez. This is Nasha with two O's with bigger britches. How are you this morning, sir? I I'm not interested. Thanks for calling. I was giving your information from one of your clients, Paul, who I guess is the father of your girlfriend. Um, Her name is Melanie. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. What, what, what is this about? Relax, this about? sir. Relax. Relax. This is just a consultation. My, my apologies. I'm more of a grower than a shower when it comes to coming out the gates on these sales calls, so my apologies ahead of time, sir. <laughs> Uh, look, I've already told you I'm not interested. Yes, you are. Uh, whatever you got, I don't want it, Rob. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pretty sensitive subject for people suffering from your condition, so I understand. It's very, yes, I get it. Condition? I don't have a condition. Melanie's father begs to differ, sir. Apparently, he wasn't thrilled with the lack of, well, a lack of a little BDE you were giving off at first glance, if you will. BDE? Mm-hmm. Yes. Big you're energy, not. yes. I know you're not talking about what you're talking about. There's yes. no way. Mm -hmm. You're Yes, uh, that is correct. Your eggplant, sir. Uh, yes, we are talking about the same thing. All right, my not up for discussion. Okay, we're done well, here. Done. Okay. Not, this is inappropriate, and I'm about to call Melanie now. Okay, this, well, this she, uh, you don't do that. She's she's too embarrassed to bring this up to you herself. Uh, why do you think that she called me? We we need to fix your little baby carrot situation <laughs> that you have going on in your Calvin Klein, sir. <laughs> What? You think? I understand you didn't get to choose your little thumbtack at birth. Don't yell at me. Don't be mad at me. I'm only here to help you. Just take it all in. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Uh -huh. I don't need no help down there. Mm, I don't know. I, I can't believe she even brought this to the table without even talking to me. I mean, uh -huh. sir, with all due respect, I mean, it was her dad that said you needed uh, the help because he's seen a case of uh, the baby bananas himself. <laughs> Can I get back to my pitch to you, sir? Uh, no, because I don't like the f product. Yes, you do. No guy calls another guy with this type of sh**. I mean, no. I, I, if I was a father, I wouldn't want my daughter to be dating someone who's packing a, a carry-on instead of a check baggage. <laughs> That's just my opinion, so you should just shut up and listen to my pitch. Why would you even care about sh**? like this mm -hmm. what is wrong with you what kind of okay are you gonna shut up you? can i get back to my pitch so we offer three different pills that will give you three different size options uh the first one is a pig in a blanket i like that one the second one is a full frank or the third very popular we got a two for one uh situation going on that's the bratwurst okay what would you like to sample shay which one uh, leave me the hell alone i can't do that sir this is crazy i have no problem with my name okay I'm good okay with it's because you don't have the webos to hang up that's why we're still talking <laughs> That's why I'm here. Let's get bigger together. Let's do this for Melanie, sir. Okay, on the count of three. Yell out baby carrots. One, two, three. Look, look. Baby listen, carrots. Nothing about me is a baby carrot. Okay. Ask Melanie. I'm doing my job okay. over there. Trust me, all right? Oh, yeah? How come she ordered you the 30-day trial then? She doesn't want her dad to think that she's dating some, like, high school kid from Marco Denisa <laughs> whose voice is cracking, you little puberty boy. You should just take it. 30 days Shut for up. free. Huh? Shut up. Uh-huh. That's a f 
up, okay. get a new job, mm -hmm. you are an embarrassment to yourself. Okay, I understand where you're coming from, but I do have a second job <laughs> that you'll probably hate me for, okay? What the hell could that be? Well, I'm part of a morning show. It's called The Morning Mets on Live 115, and you're live on the radio, and you've been prank called. <laughs> So we have your girlfriend Melanie that put us up to this prank call. Melanie, you there? I'm here. Okay. Mel. Mel. Small business.